Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today showing you how to delete or restore Windows Power Plans. We've got a few guides up that do similar things, particularly how to add high performance or ultimate if you're missing it. But you might want to add a plan if it's missing or delete a power plan, essentially take it away from the view of everybody. So we'll start by pressing the Windows key plus X to open PowerShell as admin. Right there. And then you're going to look at the guide here, which will be listed right in the description of the video so you can get your hands on all of this stuff to copy and paste. And as you can see, we, first thing we want to do, is, even though it's down far, is take a look at what we got just so I can show you. And that's this command down here under step two. This will let you list everything. So let's see what we have. Another way you can do that, there's your balance high performance power saver, with the asterisk being the one that's active. There's more on that later. Let's type in power, or you can just watch so I can show you. And go to power and sleep settings. This is the other way to do it. And you find related settings, additional power settings. There's typically two. Everything else is hidden. Balanced power saver. And normally this would be closed so you wouldn't see it unless you click show additional plans. So you can see I have everything but ultimate performance. So I want to add that. So to do that, here are your four codes, power saver, balanced, high performance, and ultimate performance. So to add power, or to add uh, ultimate performance, I'm gonna highlight that, copy it, right click, copy, open your PowerShell back up, and control V to paste, and you'll even see that it says ultimate performance. So now you've added the ultimate performance, which we can verify again by, since we're in PowerShell. The same thing we did before, it doesn't, power CFG space forward slash L. And there it is. I now have the ultimate performance plan. So that's how you add any of the four plans if you're missing them. Now, let's talk about deleting a power plan. So this is a little trickier, but you guys can handle it. And girls, guys and gals, you can do it. So we already know the power CFG dot exe forward slash L will list everything. We also now know which plan is active by the asterisk. Now, if you wanted to delete the balance plan, you would have to do power CFG space set active, leave the word GUID out, and replace the word GUID here with that, whatever you want to delete. So, like I said, it's kind of a lot to type in, but that's how you would switch over to a different plan if you want to delete an active plan. So, since we don't, we're going to delete, I'm going to delete Power Saver because it's down here and easy to read and you're going to watch me look really silly trying to type because numbers are my weak spot. Letters, I can do it without looking. Numbers, I, boy, I never got that down. All right, so as I said, forget the word GUID. Figure out which one you want to delete. Copy and paste or type in Power CFG space forward slash or, or uh, slash delete. So there's that. Now we're going to put a space in there and we're going to type a code in. So bear with me. 0184-1308. Now, don't forget, I've had a couple of problems with this. Make sure, as you notice here, to put that dash in there where they belong, like right there. I did a couple times. I'm like, why is it not working? Yeah, that's why. Like right there, I could easily miss that. 4FAB dash BC81 dash, what's left? F7 155, 6F2, uh, 6F2, 0, B4A. I'm real close to needing uh, reading glasses. It sucks. 0, 2, B4, 0, oh, I did it wrong, see? No, I didn't. 20, B4, A. All right, here goes nothing. Enter. All right. If you saw nothing, that's good. If you saw an error, that's bad. So here's what we do. Power, CFG, space, forward slash L. And as you can see, I don't have a power saver anymore. Pretty cool, right? So now the big thing is I've signed out and it doesn't show up. So a lot of times you have to reboot to see the changes. So let's take a quick look here. Balance, high performance, ultimate performance, gone. Maybe you don't need to reboot. I had one time I did it, I logged out, still wasn't there, I had to reboot. So go ahead and check your power settings as you saw me do there, because the other thing is that you can come in here and modify whatever settings it is that you added especially. So if you said that you didn't have the ultimate performance, you could click on it, change your plan settings, 
and modify the basic stuff here, turn off the display, put the computer to sleep, and of course, advanced power settings, which allows you to determine when the disk goes off, desktop settings, when your wireless card can set it off, sleep, blah, 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 everything you want in there. So there you have it, which is one of the things about power plans. People say the power plans are missing. I'm like, just edit the power plan. A lot of the power plans allow you to make a lot of adjustments. So sometimes you can save a custom power plan or just configure it to your needs. So there you have it. As always, you can click subscribe by looking for the logo down here in the bottom right-hand corner. And I hope we were helpful. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.